Well, guys, it's time for Duke Oh, yeah. Gotta love it, right? Well, let's make sure we follow the instructions, right? So it says 150 milliliters of water. We gotta do 150 milliliters of water, guys. Cool water, room temperature. So we got the 150 milliliters, guys. And it wants you to put in the solution, powder solution. So this is the carbonate. So we're gonna put that in there, guys. Let's put this in here. Is this exciting, guys? You know what this means, right? Let's put that in there, guys. Oh, can you hear that? Woo, it stinks. And then that last thing, we get the vial, guys. Yes, let's put it in, guys. Here we go. Here we go, guys. In we go. We'll give this baby a stir. So usually one hour before you go to bed or just when you go to bed. Cheers, guys. Who wants a drink? Who wants some? Who wants some? Mm, nummy, nummy. Yummy, yummy. Oh, my eyes are like in the water. Ooh, so good, guys. But it's actually not that bad, guys. It's not that bad. Let's get this down. You know what this means, right? Getting ready to go on that vacation, guys. Make sure you take your Ducaro. But again, I'm not a doctor, so make sure you consult one. This is just what I recommend and what I take. I take it once a year if I'm going away to a, another country. Almost done, guys. Completed, guys. Well, there you go. Shared live with you, taking my Ducaro. I hope you enjoyed that. Your flight to the Philippines, are you ready? Are you prepared? You have your flight all booked? Have you got all your checkups done? Got any shots that you need to have done? Did you get your Ducarol? Make sure you get your Ducarol, guys. Very important. You don't want to get into problems. Make sure you take it two weeks prior to traveling. But guys, once you've got all those things organized and you're ready to go and the excitement is there, Make sure that you fill out the e-travel. Guys, fill, you got to go to the Philippines government and fill out the e-travel, guys. If you don't do that, your possibility is turned away all kinds of problems, guys. Last time I flew, a gentleman I uh, from the U.S. I met, and we were just chatting. I said, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. He goes, yeah, I'm going to meet my LDR for the first time. Two years, LDR, finally going to meet with her. I'm out of anxiety. I'm nervous. All kinds of things going up through my mind. Anyways, we're chatting, and I said, uh, you got your uh, e-travel, right? He looks at me and said, e-travel? What's an e-travel? I said, oh, wow, man. You have your throwaway ticket. Throwaway ticket? I've got a return ticket. I said, but when's your return ticket for the return ticket was beyond the 30 days, which is uh, visa free for us, right? So anyways, this guy was like, he was, he was ready to get into a lot of problems. So I, I sat there and I explained to him, I need to go on to the, the government of the Philippines. So that's where you're going to go and make sure you do not pay any money. There's a lot of scams out there. Go on to the government of Philippines and fill out your e-travel. It's gonna ask you all kinds of personal information. It's gonna ask you for your passport information, your flight information, the day that you're coming in, and when you're leaving. Key thing, the day you're leaving, guys, it's gotta be within the 30 days. Not after 30 days, guys. It's gotta be within those 30 days. This is all being documented because you're visa-free for 30 days, guys. So make sure you do it properly, all right? Your throwaway ticket. So that E, that e-transfer, e-travel, not e-transfer, e-ticket, e, e, oh my goodness, now I'm starting to get myself. Anyways, that e-travel has to be 72 hours before you land in the Philippines. So I recommend the day before you're going to fly, fill it out, guys. So for example, if I was flying out tonight at 6 p.m. in the night, I fill it out in the morning. And at the same time, guys, before you start filling it out, don't start filling this out yet until you get your throwaway ticket. I hope you know what a throwaway ticket is. There's lots of videos out there about throwaway tickets, guys. You got to have a throwaway ticket. If you're, you got to have it, unless you have a return ticket for under 30 days, guys. If you have a return ticket under 30 days, you don't need a throwaway. But if you are planning on staying in the Philippines for more than 30 days, you have to have a throwaway ticket and you have to put that date on the documents when you do the e-travel. Very important. 
and they'll usually ask where you're staying in the e-travel. And they'll ask, what are you planning on doing while you're in the Philippines? They're basically documenting you guys. So take your time. So I'm going to recap this again. If you are going to be staying more than 30 days, make sure that you buy a ticket. A ticket. A throwaway ticket. <laughs> All these words confusing me. Get a throwaway ticket, guys. There's a, a few of them. I, I'm not going to recommend any of them. There's a few. There's lots of stuff on YouTube about them. Get that first. And I think it's, I, I, I believe it's, is it 48 hours? I forget. I forget the time now, guys. The time frame. It slipped my mind. I'll have to check that out and I'll, I'll confirm. But I think it's 48 hours. I think it's 48 hours that it's good for before it expires. Might be 24 hours. Anyways, confirm whoever you're going to be dealing with. So you want to say if you're flying out again, six o'clock tonight, do this in the morning before you leave. Do your ticket, right? Your throwaway. You are going to, if you're getting into the Philippines on the 25th, you're going to put in there that you arrive on 25th and within 30 days, put that's when you're leaving and put where you're leaving. You can write whatever you want, Taiwan, wherever you're going. They don't care. They just want to see that you're leaving the Philippines. Because you only have a 30 day free visa, period. Everybody, everyone's the same, right? When we're uh, tourists visiting, then open up e travel through the Philippines government, and you're gonna see, you're gonna fill out all the documentation, and they're gonna ask you that question when do you arrive, and when are you leaving? All right, and it's all documented, guys. And you're gonna get a, a scanner. Uh, barcode. So make sure you physically take a picture of that. Have a hard copy also, guys. Have that folder set up in your cell phone. So it's very easy when you get to the airport, you can just show them because they use mostly scanners, right? Because 9 out of 10, before you board, get access onto the Philippine Airlines to get in Philippines, they're going to ask you, do you have your e-transfer and do you have a return ticket? So very important. So going back to this chat, we got everything all done, got them all taken care of. Thank goodness we were waiting for a couple hours and it's now ready to get boarded and we're going up and what do you think they asked? Do you have a return ticket, sir? Yes, I do, right here. Do you have your e-travel done? Yes, I do, here you go. You're good to go, sir, have a nice flight. There you go. So if he didn't have those, he would have been turned away. Now, if for some reason you get caught and you're a problem, just say, oh, hold on for a second. I, I, I'll be right back. I got to I gotta deal with this and just walk away and deal with this stuff, guys. Don't put yourself in an awkward situation, right? So those are some tips for you for traveling. I hope they help you out. Please share, comment, and like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, I have lots more great videos sharing in the Philippines, going to different islands. You can see... Coco Grove, going to Secure Island, all the different places we've gone on Secure Island, Palatin, and the Falls, and Boracay, Bahal, Chocolate Hills. There, there's so many places, Alona Beach, so many places that we've gone to that will help you out to see if these are destinations that you would like to go and uh, check out and visit for yourself. So check out those videos and enjoy. But also watch uh, the videos here in Canada and you can see what Canada is all about. Because a lot of people don't know what Canada is all about. So you have quite a bit of uh, fishing, uh, going out uh, for a charter for salmon. And my girlfriend Belinda, she got her first fish and a huge salmon, a monster. And that's all on video. And it was my dad's dream to go on a charter and catch his first salmon. He does a lot of fishing, but he never caught uh, a large salmon and he caught the biggest salmon. So those are special moments that you don't ever forget. So we have a great video to share that. Uh, and also how beautiful it is here in Canada. Um, I live north of Toronto, right across from Lake Simcoe in Innisfil, Ontario, Canada. And it is beautiful in this area. When I walk out of the house, if I walk to the left, five minutes to a beach. If I walk to the right, five minutes to a beach within walking, guys, a slow walk. And then I walk farther down, there's more beaches, guys. So it's, uh, it's a special place. It's very relaxing and it is gorgeous. So thanks for watching and have a great day. See you soon. Take 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. What do you have to say, babe?
Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.